All right, Signature Solar sent me new bus bars for this Life Power 4 battery rack to replace the ones that I have that came with it, right? Apparently, they saw my video and said, well, we're going to send you the right ones. So they sent me this in this mailer right here. I finally got it today, but I can tell you right now, these are worse than the ones that came with the rack, period. And I really don't even care anymore who who sees this video but this these are not going in my freaking rack period the difference is let me show you first off you got your mounting post right here this is where a battery goes this is where your power cables go which are in between batteries as you can see here <laughs> mounting pole to the rack battery battery standoff and this one here is for a battery. And then these two guys are like, you know, they got four of them. You know, you put your two out or four out uh, on either side. But here's the problem. Here's your lug for your battery cables. Check this out. Look how they made this. You see the problem here? This is supposed to sit flat on the copper here, folks. Not only is that going to cause arcing, uh, loose connection, whatever you want to call it, but holy crap. Holy crap. And then on, check this out. This is where the battery cables go into, the little ones that come with it. Look at that. Now, I know um, uh, another YouTube guy put some washers in there, star washers, which I may have to do, but... Guys, these things, things have got to sit flat against the bus bar. See there? Holy Moses. And, of course, they're, they're what do you call these? Inserts? Rivnut screw inserts? I mean, really? Non-tin. Non-tin bus bar, so you're going to have to clean it. I mean, really? You've got to be freaking kidding me. Unfreaking believable. Shame on you guys. Shame on you guys. So I'm gonna have to come up with a plan B. <sighs> I need bus bars that work, that are safe. I mean, really. <laughs>